Well, the set is kind of old. I got an air duster here. See if it works. I wonder if the second floor and the third floor can like shift because it's so exact the same. Sure is, look at that. I can't believe I just did the whole review with the wrong floor on this video. I just looked again and I realized I had it on all on the wrong floors. We're just gonna leave it that way because it's more fun to see how, what a dumbass I was for that. Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty and I'm Scotty and this is the Mini Sunshine Hotel. Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty and I'm Scotty and this is even smaller. This is the Mini Mini Sunshine Hotel. It's only one floor. Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty and I'm Scotty and today we're here to look at another requested video review of this. So we have here Lepin's Sunshine Hotel 15018, 3196 pieces. So I can also tell you that this is based on a mock called Anastasia Astoria International Hotel. Sunshine Hotel is so much easier to say, but here it is. I think this is one of the first ones from Lepin. I'm trying to figure out that order, you know, but if you, any of you guys know, let me know, please, which one came first. So when I finished off my Lego city, you know, I was trying to find other brands. And when I came across this, I showed it to a lot of my other Lego friends and their first impression of seeing it on paper or online was like, no, nah, forget it, man. It's not gonna, it's not gonna look good. And I have to say, it, it does look kind of crazy. Like it looks like a lot going on. It's not bad. I think it's, it's not horrible. But to some of you, maybe you don't like it. But here, let's just take a look at it now. So this is Nick's turntable. We're gonna rotate this sucker around. Let you guys know what you think. This is a complete waste of space. Just nothing here. If they had just only brought the whole plate out, you would have had that much more room to play with. Maybe now that it's because it's open, you can put like a, a take, out, take off some of the walls here and make it look like it's under construction. We've got the other under construction site. You can put those figures here and make it look like they're building an extension here. But they didn't put anything here. No trash can, no nothing. It's just wasted space. Look, that's a whole like three fists right there. They could have done so much more, but it's actually on the inside. We're well, about to find out. So keep watching and you'll see what the inside looks like. For right now, we're gonna look at the front here. Ah, oh, the lamppost. They still, they were still doing this at that time. It was just like the Barnes and Nobles. I don't like it. I do like the tiles in the front. And this is really cool. I like the corner here where they put like little single blue and white studs. It just kind of breaks it up. It's nice for change. And then you got the front door here and it's a little bit loose. I mean, it's kind of that wobbly. So they're all kind of like that. I mean, every set, I think so far in the corner, they're not really 100% flush down, but they have a little bit of flex and move there. Uh, the door handle, they use like the grate for a door handle. That's kind of cute. They got the two little trees here. It's actually not that bad. They just look simple. You got two flower pots here on the front. Both sides are completely identical. You see that? That's the same and that's the same. Same exact thing. So this is one of those sets where it will get a little bit repetitive when you build it, but Nothing compares to the Taj Mahal, which I just finished, and that was freaking insane. Like, crazy repetitive. And then you got the flags here. The flags are cool. Probably swap those out, put your own little flags on there, or change the logo, but I like it. I like the overall look. I'm not quite sure what these things are here. They're like, just decoration. They look cool. It, what's fun is that you can kind of make it your own. Like, they, it's almost like every level here, they left little pieces hanging around so that you can just add on to it. Put more flags on there if you want. And you got the middle floor, it looks like textures and things popping in and out. And then you got the top floor here where you got some mini figures as statues. That's actually pretty cool. It's better than having an owl or a frog. I mean, a frog, really. Okay, on the very, very, very top, you got this nice little clock thing here. That's actually pretty cool. Um, words can't describe what's going on on this area here. I can't really tell what it is, but it's pretty cool. And you got the little chimney and the rooftop here. So without further ado, let's just take this off the turntable. So, all right, here you go, first floor. And this is the, da -da 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 -da, the lobby. Ah, the screen thing is just killing me, man. It's just so much wasted space. Ah, that just hurts me. Now on the first floor here, we got a chandelier that is so tight. Just put an extra two studs on top of that and extend it out because it's really, really pushed against the wall. It doesn't really fit there too proper. At least the bottom floor is all tiled. Yeah, but I don't know if the black and white goes with this yellow and this orange and this brown. I like it right by the door. There's like a little pattern thing going on in there. 
The flower pots look okay. And then you got a counter here, the check-in counter. The scale of the counter looks kind of off to me, like it's a little bit low. I think that, that part could have been a little bit higher and maybe a computer or something back there. I think they gave me the wrong color of the staircase. I'm not sure, it's different brown from the brown that goes up, but it's the same brown on every floor. So, oh well. And then on here, you got like a lounge area and I'm pretty sure I'm missing a piece there. I think this flat yellow piece is supposed to be a table that sits in the middle. I for now just pushed it on the floor and now I can't even tell what it is anymore. It actually looks like a glorified toilet. Maybe they should have put a door there and made that a toilet because those look like toilet seats. But I, I'm assuming that's just a lounge area and you got the door, two doors, overkill on the doors. I think they didn't have to put doors in so many spots on the set. So that's the first floor for you. A bit weird on the color scheme on the inside. But honestly, I think if you're gonna get the set, it's gonna be more for, about the exterior, not so much the interior side. So, you know, we'll say that's a bonus. So we're gonna move that aside. So here we go. Hotel room. Well, that's kind of cool, I can just put it like that. Yeah. We'll just put it there, there you go. Yeah, it's not too much going on. On the inside, we have two bedrooms here. They are so crammed and small. Who would wanna stay in this room? You just open the door and it's like, the bed's flushed right against the wall, and you have one dresser. At least you have lights in the room. And then on the other one, you do have the same kind of thing. It's, it's not, at least it's not flushed against the wall. But this is what I'm saying. This gap here, they could have made something else. And you know what's interesting? There's no toilet. There's no toilet on this floor. So if you're renting a room at the Sunshine Hotel, you gotta go pee on the outside part, in that area. Maybe that guy could have been the toilet, man. You know, it, it's got good support. Look at that. And that's because there's not a lot of things on the inside except for, you know, this thing being a little bit loose. The third floor is so special, it's so different. You've never seen anything like it. Psych! Oh, I'm just joking, man. It's exactly the same as the second floor, except you have this little balcony thing here. Other than that, it's exactly almost one to one, except now the rooms have no lights. So the rates must be cheaper on this floor, because when you go in, there's no hanging lights. But again, the beds are flush to the wall and the beds are okay. They look kind of uncomfortable. I really don't know what they're thinking, to be honest with you, because look on the in, look, look at the tiling. It's like they have, not even half, they quarter tiled it and went, eh, you know, we don't need to tile the rest of it, just leave it. Then we're gonna put these fat blocks here, just put the staircase on. And of course the staircase is still the wrong color. But I had to keep reminding myself, like you're buying this one for the exterior, not the interior. Look, I got a piece of hair here. This is just for comparison's sake. The second floor, here's the third floor. So I'm even forgetting now like, which floor is what. They're totally identical. And finally, we got the rooftop here. Now the crazy thing with the rooftop is, there is another room here, the secret room. This is like an attic. There's nothing inside it. I don't think you could put anything inside it. I mean, the minifigure is gonna be almost touching the ceiling. So, you know, it's an attic or maybe it's where a murder takes place and the body is found up there. Ooh, spooky. Finally, you have this part here, the L-shaped rooftop. Very, very simple. Not much going on, just to close it off and make sure the set is all formed together. So let's put this all back. Okay, so if it were up to me, if I had to give it a one to 10, 10 being the best, I'd give it maybe like a 6.5. That's above average. If it was just based on an exterior, I'd give it pretty high ranking, except I'd knock down like maybe, in my opinion, they could have done more to it. But it's not too bad. What do you guys think? Sunshine Hotel, huh? So if you like the set and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm, that's actually pretty okay. I might want to buy one for myself. Let me save you the hassle right now. It's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. Link in the description. You can check it out. And let's not forget the minifigures. Yay. Oh, I just knocked them all down. Here we go. And it's time again to name them. So here we go. We got this guy in a blue shirt with a little necklace. Is that a seashell? And I'm just going to base this on whoever commented last on the video. Diego Cardenas. This is you, man. Thank you for the support and liking the video and also wanting to buy the other sets. Keep an eye out on my store. I'll be adding more sets slowly. Or you can always just email me, you know? Then we got this guy in the cowboy hat. Ah, the Pui. I don't know how to say it, man. The Pui. You weren't gonna sub. Crap, but then you had to. I know exactly how you feel. I'm the same way. But thank you so much for subscribing. You got this guy with the glasses, with a nice long beard, goatee beard that's going all the way up to his face. And he is Easton Buckley. Easton, I promise you when the city gets more built, I think I'm gonna build it along with all you guys out there. I need your guys' help because I really have no idea how to set this whole thing up. And it's whether or not I wanna set up the city flat and wide, long, or go up. I'll need your help. It's gonna take some time. Slowly we'll get there, but I hope you enjoy it for the journey, so. And then we've got, this guy who looks like Ringo from the Beatles with a big 
hair hanging down his eyes and a nice big smile. And he is Max Der Koenig. Max Der? Max, I hope I'm saying everything right, but thank you. I'm glad you like that Rick and Morty shirt that I wore. Rick and Morty needs more love. Who has a Szechuan sauce? We don't even have that here in Hong Kong. Any one of you have it, you can send it over to me. But there you are, Max. Then we got the chef. This chef is Zarogath. Zar Zarogath. Zarogath with an X. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking the Simbo Club video. I hope adult theme video will have more strippers. And I'm I'll be gladly to name you in that set too. And then we got two females. Okay, we'll just name this one Deer because that's what Deer is dressed up today as. Deer, I like your lips. How do you like yourself? I think I look absolutely fabulous. Thank you for asking. We don't have a name for the other female. But I really like her shirt. I want to be the girl with the blue hair. Why don't you name me her? I want to be her. I want to be both these ladies. Both of them are me. Deers. I like these ladies. They look fantastic. Damn. So there you guys go. That's the Sunshine Hotel from Lepin. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more sets. I'll be back. Promise you guys. Break me out. Whoop. Now that I'm seeing it on the camera, like on the playback here on the monitor, the top floor looks like it's upside down. This, here, like, yeah, this part. Oh man, you guys can't unsee that now. It should be flipped the other way around. The window actually looks better this way. today, dear. You still like, you want me to grow this out? Hell no! Yeah, I look nasty. So what do you think, dear? You like, you're digging this hotel or you think it's kind of whatever? Well, if you didn't have the floors flipped, it probably would have been better, stupid. But I can tell you that deer has some stuff on his back that I just built. Little small guys here. <sighs> what the heck was that? Something fell down from next door. I hope whoever fell down over there is okay. You guys okay over there? I have no idea. But anyway, if you look back here on Deer, he's got some new stuff that's just coming in or that I'm building right now. I hope I can share that with you guys later. Thank you so much, guys, for liking Scotty's YouTube channel. He really, really appreciates it. So please comment more, subscribe, and like. And we'll take you on another journey soon. And don't forget, subscribe here, watch the other videos here, and watch even more videos you might not have seen over here. So take care, you guys. I love you so much. Please come back. Don't leave me here. I'm suffocating with this guy. Goodbye. Goodbye. No.